This is Alberta. Alberta is a great destination to put down roots because of its affordability, inviting atmosphere, and vast opportunities. Considering the high median pay, low tax rates, affordable housing, and vibrant natural and cultural scenes, it's not surprising that many folks are considering making this their permanent home. See what life is like in the province's two largest cities, Calgary and Edmonton, and discover the 10 best cities to live in Alberta. But before we share the list, just a disclaimer, some of these videos were filmed back in 2016, so expect each respective area to have developed since then. Nonetheless, we hope this list will help you find your next home. So without further ado, let's dive into the list. Number 1, 17th Avenue, Calgary. Hi, I'm Brett Wilson. I'm going to take you out on the streets of 17th Avenue to show you a couple of real cool little spots that I happen to really enjoy, partly because they're cool and partly because they're only 100 feet from my office. So we're standing right now in the corner of 17th Avenue and 9th Street Southwest. So I happen to live just three blocks up the hill over in Mount Royal as the district. My offices are right here. My Christmas party is run at that church just over on the side. My coffee shop is Cafe Bino. One of my favorite restaurants is just down the road here. It's called Farm. This is my hood very much in terms of uh, the things I like. I mean, this is one of my favorite cheese stores, and it's literally hidden in the back of the Farm restaurant. We'll help ourselves here. Mm. As you can see, a selection of everything that you'd ever want to see in the, wheel, in the world of cheese. There's a wide range of retail businesses opening here, but the restaurants that are developing along here are just outstanding, and there's a new one every six weeks. This is uh, one of my favorite restaurants. This is, uh, this is Brett's favorite appetizer here at Roosevelt. It's the mac and cheese sticks, served with Fontina cheese and truffle vinaigrette. Where we're headed now is to one of my favorite stores in the world. It's called Stealing Home. The collection of things they sell here is as eccentric as you can find. Soy wax. Oh, it's a candle. It's as simple as a candle. My dog's name is Johnny Cash. So, if I was buying my dog a present, the most eccentric, sure enough. So there's just some wall hooks. In terms of the people that live and play and work in this area, obviously the live people often work right downtown. But there's a changing demographic as we become younger with the condos that are being built and certainly there's some older folks like me living just up the hill. So it's a wide range. Uh, but the energy of this whole strip is changing in terms of the, uh, the concentration of great restaurants and great retailing. 17th Avenue is just becoming more and more of a destination, a go-to place, a very dynamic, uh, a young vibrancy that's here and lots of new businesses and shops locating. It's, and it's a fun place to be. Number two, Mission Calgary. Hi, I'm Amanda Hamilton with Amanda Hamilton Interior Design, and today we are on a mission in Mission. I am going to take you to so many places, I'm not even sure you're gonna be able to keep up with me. We're here at One Cycle in Mission. It's one of my favorite places to spin at. Come check it out. Hey, hey. how are you? So we have these clips on the bottom here, so it keeps you clipped into the bike. Does that mean I actually have to work out? It means you won't fall off. <laughs> take it back, two, front, two. Yeah! I'm actually seriously getting a workout right now. Here we are at Coco and Violet. You can get anything here from beautiful skinny jeans to a beautiful silk blouse. This is so cute. I need it. So I'm excited to see this space because it's beautiful and I think it's gonna be like a highly curated selection of men's clothing. We are at the Frilly Lily Beauty Boutique. Here are all the different types of waxes you can get at Frilly Lily. My favorite, the Brazilian. So we specialize in bikini waxing. That hurts. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the first time and then it gets no, better. No, it hurts every time you're lying. <laughs> I know this. This is where the magic happens. We do shellac, manicures, pedicures. Mm -hmm. With the jewelry, Debra, the owner, goes on a lot of buying trips mm -hmm. to LA. Let's see, what do you think? Does it look good? Excellent, thank you. One of the reasons why I love Mission so much is that it's totally walkable. From one end to the other, it's only about 10 minutes. 
So it doesn't matter which direction you go, you can take a bus, you can walk, you can drive. Here we are in the more residential area of Mission. It's right off of the main drag of 4th Street and there is all different types of buildings here. Lots of rentals, whether it's low rise or tall apartment buildings. There's really beautiful character homes that are to buy or to rent. Demographics in here are young professionals, married couples, there's kids, lots of animals, cyclists, lots of people walking all around. So it definitely has a diverse community feeling. In Mission, hang out with this frog. Yans has some of the best treats in all of Calgary. Macaroons. So good, look, and Yeho has a macaroon as well. We're going there afterwards. Okay, here we go. Mmm, that's really good. We are in Yeho, which is Mission's neighborhood taqueria Mexican pub. See, he loves tequila, I love tequila, we all love tequila. Do you want to chai? Here we are at Phil and Sebastian, and I think I need a chai latte, because I'm exhausted. This is actually one of my most favorite pieces of architecture in Mission, the Maxwell Bates building, and it's sort of right in the heart of this beautiful, beautiful neighborhood. Thank you so much for joining us today on our Mission Possible. Pew, pew. <laughs> Number three, Bridgeland, Calgary. Hi, I'm Cheryl Bernard, Olympic curler, and I'm in Bridgeland today, one of my favorite communities in the city of Calgary. Where we are standing right now is called the Bridges Development and it primarily consists of low-rise condominiums and uh, single-family dwellings. It's unique in Bridgeland because you get the 19th century dwellings across the street from the brand new condominiums. The demographics in Bridgeland are mainly professionals, um, families and uh, single individuals. A lot of Italian uh, people moved into the neighborhood and, and it became primarily Italian immigrants living here. And, so it became known as Little Italy. So I'd like to show you La Brezza restaurant. It's one of the icon Italian restaurants in our city. Been here for 27 years. There's parks, there's nightlife, there's, you can stay within the community, go to the restaurants. It was actually the, one of the first transit-based communities developed. You know, there's so many different shops. There's the retail clothing shops, there's little markets that you can visit, little cafes, a lot of fitness studios, yoga studios, spas. It's a very health conscious neighborhood. I'd like to welcome you to the main dish in Calgary, one of my favorite places, as my husband can attest, because I'm not a big cook. We have a ton of healthy options. We, um, we cater to all types of diets, so vegetarian, vegan, and you could also sneak in and have a wine now and then. So it's a great restaurant and we love coming here. We're here at Leela's Eco Spa, and what's great about it is they not only do yoga, but they do massage and aesthetics as well. This is amazing, look at all the mushrooms. Oh. Okay, so this is Peter's Drive-In, the infamous Peter's Drive-In. I've been coming here for licorice milkshakes since I was a kid. I don't want to tell you how many years that is. You know, I think people who hang out in Bridgeland and should come down here and try it just because of the accessibility, the vibe. The vibe during the day is fun. There's people all over the place, there's walk, everybody's walking, and at night as well, the restaurants and the nightlife. Number four, Inglewood, Calgary. Hi, my name is Connie D'Souza, co-chef and co-owner of Charcot Roast House. And we are here in beautiful Inglewood, one of Calgary's most historic neighborhoods. We're just seconds away from downtown Calgary, right on the beautiful Bow River. What I love about Inglewood is it has so many quaint little shops, great restaurants, beautiful art galleries. I can't wait to take you on a tour. So we're standing in Inglewood's residential area. It is quite an affluent community, but there are condos that are being built just up the street that are super accessible, really affordable. Great neighborhood, it's lined with mature trees, there's young families as well as older families here as well. It's such a great neighborhood to live in. We love it here. Inglewood has such great amenities with its bike paths, its parks, the school right behind me. It's so accessible. You can walk, bike, drive, even bus through Inglewood. So this is one of my favorite shops in Inglewood. It's a little Italian grocerieria. 
called Bite, and I love shopping here. They also have some really cool design features. Giant whisks for lights and giant mixing bowls. So this is our local brassica mustard. We call it prairie caviar because when you bite into the mustard seeds, they really pop in your mouth. As you can see, they have hundreds of different types of cheese. One of my favorite cheeses is our locally sourced grizzly gouda. Grated over pasta or on sandwiches is great as well. We're at SB in Inglewood. This is one of my favorite shops. Megan is the owner and you have to come here. She's gonna dress you up and make you feel pretty. I just had a baby. I'm still in maternity clothes. So I can't wait to see what she has picked out for me. <laughs> I'm awesome. taking this home today. Okay, <laughs> I love that. There you go. So we're at Knifeware in Inglewood. This is really like a candy store for chefs. Uh, they take care of all your knife sharpenings. We'll sharpen the stuff that we sell, but we sharpen the stuff that, that other people have as well. A sharp knife will not hurt you as much as a dull knife will. Yeah, and it doesn't make you cry with frustration. You get to cook with love. <laughs> So we've had such a great time today shopping in one of my favorite neighborhoods in the city, Inglewood. There's some great places like we've seen today, uh, some great new shops that just opened up. There's some great boutiques, some great consignment shops. So come check it out. You're going to love Inglewood. Number five, Kensington, Calgary. I'm Candice Bergman. And I'm Pierre Lamiel. Together we have a t-shirt company that designs food t-shirts. And we are in beautiful sunny Kensington. It's got a great vibe, there's lots of people, there's lots of hustle and bustle. Let's go. So the houses in this neighborhood are really mixed. There's turn of the century Victorian style homes that are beautiful. And then there's the renovated homes. A lot of condos, really new stuff to live in. Um, it's kind of this juxtaposition of old and new and it makes for a really cool, kind of eccentric, funky neighborhood. There's lots of uh, students, post-secondary students, because they're so close in proximity to the University of Calgary. There's lots of young people, uh, intermixed with some older people. It's just such a great, wonderful community. They really come together. Easy access to downtown, hop on a bus. The train hop. comes in every 10 minutes. You've got pedestrian bridges everywhere to the city. Lots of bicycles. Inflatable rafts. Canoes, kayaks, surfboards, there's lots of options. We're at the very busy intersection of Memorial Drive and uh, 10th Street. 10th Street goes straight into downtown and Memorial is uh, one of the thoroughfares across the city. Not to mention Memorial Drive uh, goes right along Bow River. We happen to have run into Kensington's most famous resident, <laughs> Mike Morrison from Mike's Blog Hi guys. Riding your bike is on, a pretty good way to go. Bike, actually, when I moved to Kensington, I sold my car because I didn't need it anymore. You don't really need to go very far, which I really love. We have a reservation at Crave Cupcake. Oh, right so. oh good. <laughs> they have the freshest icing you can ever eat. Ooh, the princess. The princess is my favorite. And you can buy fresh buttercream. It's a perfect breakfast on the go. So we're here with Jody, one of the owners of Crave Cookies and Cupcakes, and she's going to take us on a tour. This is our buttercream and icing room. Hop over to the baking room. Pierre, stay back. <laughs> Let her do her job. Cheers. 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 <laughs> oh my god. I can see how your face is. <laughs> We're in the Livingston and Cabell toy store. So come on in, we'll show you around. We uh, pretty much embody the best of uh, Kensington. We have the, uh, the very good food in Kensington. Also, we have the, the culture of uh, the Calgary. I don't know, oh, we? Yeah. Snowball fight anytime, oh, all year round. This would be perfect, perfect today because it's really hot out. Thank you so much for joining us today on our Kensington tour. We give you a tiny little taste of everything there is here to offer in Kensington. There's so much to go see and do. and There's way more. Oh, there's so much stuff here. Come and check out Kensington. Number six, Mackenzie Town, Calgary. Hey everybody, it's Craig Mortz, Canadian country recording artist. We're hanging out in Mackenzie Town and uh, looking forward to showing you guys around this community. Well, Mackenzie Town is, is exactly that. It's like a little town inside of Calgary. So you kind of really don't have to leave your city limits um, to get anything. You, you have everything you can eat, grocery stores, retail, gym, you know, town hall, banquet facilities. They have uh, schools, everything here. So yeah, Mackenzie Town is just that. It's a, it's a town inside a city, so it's pretty cool. 
Well, we're uh, actually heading to one of my favorite spots, actually. Is, um, I'm a big Italian food person. I love Italian. Forno fired pizza, which is pretty awesome. So I'm pretty excited to eat some pizza, eat some pasta. So right here in Mackenzie Town. So stoked to eat my hot Sicilian pizza to go. Can't wait to get out of here and devour this baby. Pet Planet, it's, uh, you know, I frequent this place a lot. I have three dogs and they're constantly needing stuff and I have to spoil them and obviously they need to eat and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna go in here and check some stuff out. And my dogs will rip this apart in about two seconds. Do you have any tiny, teeny tiny ones? For the Yorkie? For the little dogs? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're hanging out at Brewster's, one of my favorite local watering holes, and uh, it's just a great place to kick back and chill with the band, and we can uh, talk about, you know, studio stuff, songwriting, all that kind of stuff. Well, it's a very safe neighborhood. It's very uh, family-oriented. You know, there's lots of parks, lots of recreational stuff to do, uh, green space. It's just a friendly, hip, cool place. It's a great place for families, young adults, and there's multifamily, there's single-family, lots of low-rise stuff. The architectural is really cool here. It's really different from what you normally see, so they really focus on that. They want it to be different and funky and trendy, so uh, new home buyers too, like if you're a first time home buyer, great place to come and, and check it out. And it's, uh, there's not a whole lot of places like this in Calgary, so yeah, it's a great place to settle down. Number seven, downtown Edmonton. Hi, I'm Jenna Pryor. I'm an interior designer, and you are at Plum Home and Design here in Edmonton. So behind me, you're probably noticing a ton of cranes. And actually, if you look anywhere in downtown Edmonton right now, you're gonna see cranes. It used to be a place where people worked, and now it's a place where people live and eat and shop. And here on 104th Street is actually where it started. This is gonna be where a lot of Edmontonians are calling their home. And that one behind me used to be my home. The best thing is 104th Street has all these amazing independent stores. So right now we're in Carbon, and it's one of my favorite stores for eco-friendly, non-toxic design inspiration. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. So if you're as serious about coffee as I am, you've got to stop at Credo. It is the best coffee in town, and if you're here, you might as well stop at Lit, an amazing wine bar, great for Friday night like tonight. So we're on Jasper Ave right now, which is, as you can tell, the busiest street in downtown Edmonton. So we're coming into Trey's Carnalis. It is my hands down favorite restaurant in downtown Edmonton. Fish tacos here are out of this world. I am craving an order of fish tacos. This is why we love downtown Edmonton. Amazing food, amazing restaurant, and amazing people. Behind me is Edmonton City Center. It's a great shopping center, food court, great stores. This is Churchill Square. This is the center and the heartbeat of downtown Edmonton for us. This is where all of our festivals happen. I think the people that live in Edmonton are people that are interested in the arts. So that means we have more theaters per capita than anywhere else in Canada. We have great restaurants and great stores. And it's because we're really diverse and really multicultural. So right now we're actually in the arts district. It is my absolute favorite place to come for design and inspiration. We're at the Windsphere. It's a spectacular musical hall. It's actually built with acoustics in mind. It's also the home of Edmonton Symphony Orchestra. So we're in the Citadel Theatre, a beautiful theatre here in Edmonton. Live theatre, musicals, and an amazing theatre school right here. It's the centre of Edmonton and it's a place I come a lot. It's part of the reason I love Edmonton. Number 8, 124th Street, Edmonton. Hey guys, my name is Mike Shalou and I'm the host of the Mike Shalou Show on 91.7 The Bounce. And this is my backyard. As you can see, my backyard is pretty sensational. If you look just right over here, that is my future home just up there. It's called The Pearl. Edmonton is booming. Over $5 billion is going to be spent in this area, in this city, on so many different projects. From health to wealth to condos to fitness, I'm telling you, Edmonton is the place to be. This area is full of young professionals, people that are single and ready to mingle, and also a lot of young families. This is definitely the place to live if you want to live somewhere fun and hot. The nickname for 124th Street is High Street, high society, so many great things. There's art galleries, there's bakeries, there's retail, there's shopping, and there's a lot of pop-up parks. So to get away from the hustle and bustle, you can come here, sit down, relax, and take in the action. 
124th Street has very sexy, cool shopping. If I was a girl, this is where I would be shopping for my feet. Come on in. The selection at Mayfair is unbelievable. Now there are so many different, very cool and exciting things on 124th Street. And the best place to have a steak sandwich in town? Well, it's at a vegan joint. It's called the Clever Rabbit Vegetarian Cafe. Let's go inside and check it out. Break it down for me. How is this so delicious and how does it taste like steak? Well, for one, we make our own bread. The steak we marinate overnight, it's a TVP. And away we go. Delicious. Best steak sandwich I've ever had in my life. Ever. Love you. <laughs> to get around this city, it is simple. It's called the LRT, and I gotta tell you, it is beautiful. Look at that, perfect timing. We got a bus on command. Gotta go. After a long day of shopping on 124th Street, you're gonna wanna stop at the best place to eat and drink. And I'm talking about Daravara. And I've got Miss Denise here, Denise's girlfriend. What am I drinking right now? Cause I am thirsty. <laughs> I've poured you an IPA from Wild Rose Brewery. Cheers to you, Denise. Now with everything that I've eaten all day from the beer to the steak sandwich, now it's time to work it off at Rock Jungle CrossFit. When I grow up, I'm gonna look like Dan the king of rock jungle. I actually have muscles now because of you. Well, you had them in the first place. We had to find them. Let's go. Let's Come go. on, Dan. Here we go. Back. We're done. Thanks, Dan. Thanks a lot. <laughs> As you can see, there's a lot of action here on 124th Street and the neighborhood surrounding it. There's such a community feel, though. Lots of families, lots of action, and a lot of love. I'll see you soon on 124th Street. Old Strathcona, Edmonton. Hey oh, hello, goodbye work, hello patio. Hi, we're Hey Romeo, and we're gonna take you on a wonderful tour of Old Strathcona in Edmonton, Alberta. Come on, let's go check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are in Edmonton, Canada. We feel like this is sort of the pulse of the city here in Edmonton, where you really feel like you're in a big city, and uh, there's all kinds of new developments going up like the one behind us. They're building a lot of new things here in the area, but there's a lot of great old historical homes, great rental properties. The university is just a few blocks down, so there's a lot of uh, university students around. Respectful, they don't, you know, get crazy. All good. <laughs> great place to live. All the people that come down here, I could sit on a patio and watch everyone walking by, and there's so many different types of people that you see and you meet. It's unbelievable. Old Strathcona is the most walkable neighborhood in Edmonton. You can take the LRT down here, you can take the buses down here. You can take your bike. White Avenue and Old Strath, there's nothing like it here in Edmonton. Kind of the energy of the city down here. And uh, you can't beat the clubs, the food, the restaurants, and the whole vibe. We are here at Cook County Saloon in Edmonton. It is the CCMA, Canadian Country Music Association's Country Club of the Year 2014 and numerous other years. You can ride the bowl, you can have some drinks, you can listen to the bands that play. Hey, Romeo's played there. I think you guys are over there. I'm, I'm just where I gotta go with Cook County Saloon, Edmonton's oldest honky-tonk, right? Yes, 33 years later, it's still going strong. We love playing here. So here's another great place we uh, like to hang out at, uh, the next act here in Old Strathcona. Some of the finest burgers in town. One of my favorite graphs, uh, <laughs> the Lone Bison. If you uh, need a little libation on a Friday, this is the place to come. They got a great kind of um, vibe here too. Like all the festivals that happen like right across the street here. They have the big Fringe Festival. And the Farmer's Market, Old okay. Strathcona Farmer's Market, my right. favorite. That's just like right over in that corner as well. So you get your burgers and beer, and then you get your fresh veggies over there when you're done. <laughs> Walter Dare Theater, there's a lot of uh, great plays that go on there all year round. Behind you is the Barscona Theater. Home uh, of the comedy, Edmonton Comedy Festival, right? That's right, yeah. correct. Lots of culture going on here in Edmonton. I love Edmonton and I love Old Strathcona. I love all the nightlife in this area. There's so much to do down here all year. Come check it out. Gonna turn your day around with a touch, with a kiss. Baby, I got this. Edmonton Strathcona. And finally, number 10, Windermere, Edmonton.
Hey, my name's Clayton Bellamy, lead singer, guitarist of the Road Hammers, and drive home announcer of Kissing Country 103.9, and you are in Windermere, Edmonton, my stomping grounds. Oh, Windermere, oh, Windermere, suburbanites rejoicing. Windermere has so much to offer, including estates, singles, duplex, condos, something for everyone, including access to great box stores and close to the highway to get you downtown quickly to wherever you're working in the city. The beautiful urban setting here in Windermere is also highlighted by the fact that it's walking distance in most places to your retail and your entertainment, which is, as you can see, right across the road. Right now they're building this new mall that's kind of full of funky offbeat shops that kind of inspires the, the urban atmosphere. It makes you feel like you're right in the heart of the city. But being an entertainer, entertainment is obviously very important to me. The Cineplex is right nearby. Sometimes my wife and I will stop here just to get popcorn. I don't always drink wine, beer, and spirits, but when I do, I come to wine, beer, and spirits and beyond. I'm not really a big wine drinker, but my favorite wine is corrugated. Oh, these are glasses. I thought this was boxed wine. I'm gonna go to the wine tasting bar. Iron Maiden beer. A rock and roll beer. We're gonna try it. That is surprisingly good. It's a double meat monstrosity at Five Guys, which is only blocks away from the great living here in Windermere. <laughs> mm. Windermere has great modern architecture, which I'm a big fan of. These new condos here go great directly across the street with single family homes. Everything is kind of melded together. Right in the middle of the neighborhood, you've got these great ponds that you can go. And being a hockey town, uh, I guess every town in Canada, but this one in particular in Edmonton, uh, you can come here and have your own game of pond hockey in the middle of winter. Being that I just relocated to Edmonton, I think Windermere is such a cool place and they got lots of great starter homes for small families like mine. I don't know if these guys are willing to sell their place, but I've got, I got 50 bucks burning a hole in my wallet. I don't know if they'll, uh, if they'll take that as a down payment. On good faith, of course. So that's it for Alberta's best neighborhoods to live in. We hope you learned something from each neighborhood. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below which city you'd like us to cover next. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon.